guys, let me clean my phone because I think it's a little blurry. Um, Emma, can you get down and give me the napkins? All right, so welcome everyone. We're going to be making some cream cheese buttercream. Okay, so let me clean my phone. I just need a napkin, but I don't know. Let me clean my phone because it's a little like it looks like it's dirty. Sorry. That looks Hi, guys. better. It was dirty. Okay. So I'm gonna sift. Yeah, hold on, girl. Here we go again. We're getting ahead of me. Okay, so we're gonna be making uh, cream cheese buttercream. And Last, not last week, two weeks ago, we did a classic vanilla buttercream. Today is literally almost the exact same thing. We're just going to be incorporating um, cream cheese into it, okay? So, Emma is going to start sifting the powdered sugar here. So, we're going to do five cups total of powdered sugar. So, she's going to be doing that while we do this. So, and make sure you're counting in your head, okay? Don't, don't get distracted. <laughs> And you have your thing, right? Your little spatula? Did I bring it? It's right there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, something that I want you guys to keep in mind that there is kind of differences between um, cream cheese frosting and cream cheese buttercream. So cream cheese frosting is literally like a soft cream cheese texture. Um, it doesn't have any butter. It, if it does, it's very little and it has less sugar. So when we're making buttercream, it's a buttercream base. So we're going to incorporate butter and it has a lot more sugar. Okay. So for me, um, when I make cream cheese buttercream, I, can, I can't taste the, the cream cheese like, oh my gosh, this is cream cheese. I can taste more of the powdered sugar than the cream cheese. And um, I feel the cream cheese tones down the sweetness. So for me... Um, I can eat it just kind of like that. Honestly, I can eat it. It's still sweet, but not as sweet as a traditional vanilla buttercream. Um, but it does have cream cheese, so you would have to like let the customer know that it does have cream cheese if you want to like use this for everything. Because for me, I would literally use it for everything. Um, but it's our job to let, you know, if you're planning to sell it, to let the customer know it's your, my buttercream has a little bit of cream cheese in it. Is it okay? Okay. So... I have some butter here, so you're going to be needing two sticks of butter, okay? So, um, mine looks kind of weird because I'm using like the big block and I have to cut it. So, we make sure that your butter is soft enough, but not super melted, not super liquidy. You want like something that looks like this, and if I press it, see how it... Right? So start with this. So we're going to do two sticks of butter. So can you do this by hand? Yes, you can. Okay. And I mean with your hand mixer. Okay. So I'm going to open it up and this I'm just going to dump it in there. This is my second cup. Okay. All right. So I'll have a trash can right here. So we're going to start blending this up. Okay. So we're going to use the paddle attachment. I forgot to grab a um, spatula. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna let that go. We want like a fluffy, a fluffy uh, texture for it to kind of turn white. Um, So um, if you guys missed the last video of uh, two weeks ago, I explained about butter. We talked about butter. We talked about, um, you know, you don't want to use margarine for these type of buttercream. Do you want to use? Yes. Oh, yeah. You don't want to. You want to use real butter. So I use Martin Final unsalted. So mine is unsalted. We're going to add a pinch of salt to this. But um, a lot of people think, like, they ask the question if it's, can I just use salted butter? You know, we're going to incorporate salt. So can we just, can we do that? She uses this, but she had to cut it in half. Yeah, so this is what my butter looks like. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> so 
So I'm at a four. So my, my thing is at a four. Okay. And so and we're going back to the salt, the salt and unsalted. Um, when we add a pinch of salt, we are in control of how much salt we are putting in things. You know, it's just a pinch. Salted butter, we don't know how much salt is in those things. I mean, if you read the ingredients, you can, like, you know, find out how much of the percentage, uh, you know, it has. Um, so, but it's not a pinch. It's more than that. So it affects the taste. Some people like to use salted butter for all the things, and they don't taste the difference. For me, I have. Like, for me, I have, one time I had to do a brownie recipe and all i had was salted butter and i was like i'm just gonna try salt to like you know what can you know is it really gonna make a big difference and it did like i can just it didn't taste good so all right so this is what it looks like the butter this is my third one okay all right so don't go pattern you're gonna keep mixing that. And then once it's like fluffy and it's kind of smooth, then we're gonna add our cream cheese into it, okay? I'm gonna use the spatula. So this is an eight ounce cream cheese and it is uh, soft enough. So it is not super the same thing as our butter. You don't want super melted cream cheese. Um, you want like for it to still hold its shape. But it's a little soft. But it's a little soft, yes. Um, I pulled my both things I pulled them out two hours ago and it's pretty hot in our household so it might be different for you for you one hour would be enough or maybe your house is super cold and you need to let it out maybe three hours four hours before you start um, but definitely it's all in here it's all in the temperature of these things um, and the quality of the stuff you are using I was gonna say okay. Well, sometimes I have left things overnight, like outside when I'm about to go to sleep, I just pull it out and then I, uh, in the morning I use them, um, cause in the night it's colder. Um, so I have done that. So I'm going to cut it kind of in chunks with this, my spatula and kind of just incorporate in there. Okay. Let's throw this away. And we're gonna mix it, okay? And we just want the cream cheese to incorporate it with our butter for it to kind of look, you know. I've been one. begging my mom to get TikTok and she finally did. <laughs> Emma, <laughs> Emma has been on me, and my, uh, actually, you know, my son too, were like, Mom, how come you don't get a TikTok? And I'm like, I don't know, I just, I, I just, I don't know. I was like, I feel like my audience is not there. I feel like my audience, you know, my you guys basically um, are a little bit older. Maybe you just browse it, but you're not really like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are not, my age or my audience is not on TikTok. Um, so I kind of was like, no, I don't want to, you know. And um, <laughs> I helped Emma with one of her TikToks and it was kind of fun. And I was like, I, this is fun like I kind of like it but I also saw that it was time consuming um, and I was like I'm gonna get sucked into it and I'm not, I'm not gonna know when to stop and I don't need another social media thing that I you know um, can't put my phone down for um, uh oh and I saw so anyways long story short I finally joined I have two videos up and it's literally the same name as on here if you are on TikTok and you want to go check it out um, it's, the it's the same name. Yeah, it's the same name as my Instagram, YouTube, everything. Um, so far, um, she has like I 42 like followers. Hi. <laughs> so far, I like it. So far, you know, I'm just, but I have to remind myself, Denera, that's enough. No more TikTok. Put it down. She's always like laughing at her TikTok. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't like TikTok. Emma, you're like burning me out, man. All right. She has so. 44 followers. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like this. Okay. Okay, I got it's still distracted. fluffy. Now you don't know how many you put. Ah, uh, yeah, ma. I believe this is my fourth one. Okay, you guys, comment. I don't know. <laughs> don't be like Emma. Pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> hey, I'm a kid. Okay, so this is it. Okay, I'm gonna. It looks like one, the butter and the cream cheese have incorporated. They look good to me. 
So we're gonna add some vanilla extract. Okay, okay I think this is my fourth one, so. Just leave it at four and then when we're putting them in, we can check and then we'll just add one more. I'm pretty sure it's your fourth one too. But. Okay, so we're gonna be using three teaspoons, which equals to one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Um, I just use always a cap, so I always do three teaspoons. But if you want to do like one tablespoon, it's the same thing. Um, and this is vanilla extract because I know some of you guys are going to be like, where did you get that? Um, I got it out of Costco. Um, I can't pronounce it. it. It's new, um, so I'm not sure. What does it say? It says, hola señoritas. Okay, so we're going to do three teaspoons. Okay, so... Uh-oh. One... <laughs> My blade is in my way. Two, three. Okay. Can you pass me the rag, Emma? Hold up. Okay. And we're gonna add our pinch of salt. Oops. That's a lot. Not this much. That is a pinch, girl. Okay, a pinch is like your finger. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna incorporate this, okay? So this is not gonna take long. It's not gonna take an additional minute. It's just, you know, for it to kind of just come, come together. Okay, we're not gonna be adding any heavy whipping cream because the cream cheese does make it a little bit on the soft side. Um, we're not gonna be adding any liquid. Okay, I'm done. Okay, and that's incorporated. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh, if you guys can see. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna add our powdered sugar. Okay. So you wanna do this uh, slowly because or else you're gonna get gonna get a big little powder <laughs> like last time. <laughs> That Emma turned on the machine. All right, go. So we're gonna add one cup. That's funny. Oops. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna throw it in there. I want to do it. So you're gonna it starts slowly and go fast. Okay, and then add your the rest, girl. Keep adding. We're gonna just start incorporating our um pepper sugar. This is so good. This is dirty. All right. So I am basically at like between a two and a three. So which is two and three. Alright, come on. And you don't have to stop every time you're adding the sugar. I'm doing this for Emma because she wants to dump it in there. Um, if you have one of those little... Go ahead. That's three cups, so how much do you have there? Um, if you have one of those little things that the, the kitchen aid makes or, like you can order with a little like little thing that comes and you can just drop your stuff in and that looks kind of cool. Um, but I'm opening it up for Emma. So you're just going to mix it and then add more, add more, and then you're going to let it go and kind of fluff up. Alright, that's good. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just adding so it's... Little by little. We still so, have a little bit more. Okay, you might have five cups in there. I think I have six. No, this was four. Okay, this five. No, this is like a little bit more. So, Alright, so it's looking like this, you guys. Let me take it out of here so you guys can kind of see it. It's one and a half. All right, and I'm going to scrape my bowl because I know I have a lot of sugar up there. Okay. Okay, just add a little. No, 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 no. Leave it here. 
Add a little bit. Actually, you're not gonna be able to. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay, I'm gonna scrape the walls because see, all of that is there. I wasn't supposed to use this spoon. This wasn't mine. This was supposed to be your powdered sugar. Okay, so. You have to use this. For cream cheese frosting, it would be, um, I don't have the recipe off my head, but it's a little bit of butter, not so much sugar. It's literally like one cup, one and a half cups of sugar. Um, and it comes out um, very, yeah, um, very soft, like just very like kind of liquidy and it goes like on top of like, you know, like carrot cakes and, um, like some of the what are those called the cinnamon rolls like that kind of stuff it's more like it's spreadable we here it's a buttercream so it has more butter a lot more sugar um so so yeah i don't i i don't sell like carrot cakes or like even cinnamon rolls or that other stuff so I don't really make the, the, the cream cheese frosting. I usually stick to this, the cream cheese uh, buttercream. Okay, that's good. Okay. Can I put this in the sink? I'm making a mess. Don't stare at me, guys. Emma's gonna clean after me right now. That's because I'm cleaning the fridge. All right, so. And if you want a thicker, consistency you would have to add more powdered sugar okay I'm gonna help it a little bit but oh my gosh I'm gonna get a huge mess vanilla buttercream it will hold its shape but imagine if we would have added some liquid in there like the heavy whooping cream it would have been even more liquidy and when um we don't want that so if you want if you see this and you're like I want thicker than that like I want to go thicker then I suggest adding more powdered sugar but it's gonna be sweeter right, so I'm just gonna let that go for a little bit Right now I'm at a five. Okay. I'm gonna get clean up after me. That's good. Give me a piece. Here, it's right here. Alright. And that's it. I'm trying to lock it. Bam. Okay. So we're gonna be coloring with some artisan accents pink. No. I have a question. Yes, uh, this is not as thick as like other buttercream. So I can frost a cake with like a red velvet cake. And honestly, a lot of people use the cream cheese for red velvet uh, cheesecakes to like, you know, do the, the topping on top um, for carrot cakes. Those kind of stuff, both, like banana bread, they put cream cheese on them. Yes, you can use this one for for that or if you don't want more of a cream because I'm telling you once you do this and you like you taste it you taste more powdered sugar than cream cheese okay so uh, cream cheese frosting has less powdered sugar so you can taste the cream cheese more but it's more softer it's you know it's just a soft frosting it's not it's not thick can I put it well, I'm gonna be short guys okay. is it ready okay. open Yes, she's gonna put some coloring in there. Is it open? Yeah. Like oh, it? more. More, we want like a, there. So we're gonna color. Oh, you guys can't really see it. They can 
Okay. It's all clean over here now. And we have pink. Look how clean. Wow. Can I get a uh, spatula though? Yeah. I'm going to take this off. If I can. <laughs> Did you just say I can? If I can. Alright, I'm gonna keep mixing it. There's still like white in there, so I need to go in with with my spatula. We have this like thing over here and it's so hard to get it. Can you throw that? I don't need it anymore. Sure? Don't lick it because you don't like that frosting. Yes. Emma doesn't like that. Um... I don't like She doesn't really like any frosting. Even whipped cream, she's like, eh. She only likes it if it's like flavored, like strawberry. Like even from Starbucks. Yeah, or her like, like fraps and all that. I have to always say no whipped cream, no whipped cream. And they cream. always come with whipped cream. And sometimes they don't listen. Can I put the mixer away, Mom? Or are still using it? I don't mind using it. Okay, let me taste it. If I can carry this. Be careful, Emma. <laughs> I like it. Um, okay, so we have a, we don't have cupcakes this time because honestly we were going to make a whole batch and I was like, what are we going to do with 24 cupcakes? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so um, Mom, we're going to pipe on like uh, parchment paper. Mom. Yes. Um, have you ever went, like you know those apple classes but like in real life? You mean hands on? Yeah. yeah. That did you after ever have to like go to another state? Mm, I was supposed to go to um, Florida to go teach to go teach camel apples, but it didn't happen because of quarantine. <laughs> okay. So you have. So we have our frosting in there. Well, no, I you... haven't because I never got to do it. Oh. Don't get portion paper. We have some already here, remember? I don't remember. It's right here, Emma. Can I do one? Or two? Okay. Four, Hold four, on. Four, nine, I love playing with frosting. So we're just going to pipe on this. And I know you guys can barely see. There we go. It's not going to see our full face walkers. <laughs> Uh, um, are, isn't it like if you... Oh, it's lights. Is, I can't read that. Um, hello from Texas. Hi. Uh, whipped cream. So, there's different types of whipped creams. Um, let me pipe some and then I'll let Emma pipe the rest. But it does hold its shape. Is it like but the same thing? Like the it's one in the, it's the same thing. Like, okay. if you put it in the fridge, it, it doesn't, like, go Yeah, so, this is, this, let me raise you guys up a little <laughs> This is, um, softer, okay? So, if you're making it and you're, like, this is really soft, it's <laughs> soft, but it stays in place. You know what I mean? Like, it's not super, super thick, um, but it, it holds its shape. Like, if I want to pipe on cupcakes, it will work. Um, because it has cream cheese... It needs to be refrigerated, okay? So if you make it, let's say, a night before, you store it in the fridge because it has to go in the fridge. How do you make um, so tiny? You just don't pipe a lot. Um, you're going to take it out, and it's going to be hard rock, like, it's because it, the the cream cheese and the butter got solidified again. It got hard again, so you need to re-whip it, and it's going to become, you know, soft again. Um, when it comes to whipped cream, frosting, I, I will make, because I'm trying to make a series of frostings here, I will get to the whipped topping ones, and I have made them before on this, on the YouTube channel, a um, long time ago, but there is different types of whipped cream that you can use, you can use like the, um, pride, the pastry pride, which is literally you, you dump it in here, whip it, and it's done for you, um, you can do um, flavor right containers, and they, it's whipped topping, and it's st stabilized. Um, you can do stuff like this, it will hold, it needs to be refrigerated, or you can make it with heavy whipping cream, and you would add powdered sugar. Uh, for my, my cheesecakes, it's what I do. I do uh, 
with with heavy whooping cream, add powdered sugar, some extract, and I'm done. Um, if you want something to hold better, to have more, um, for it to be a little bit more stable, um, you would add like some instant pudding into that. So if there is a recipe or something that you guys want to know, leave it. Let me guys, let me know or leave it in the comments if you're watching the replay. Um, what you want me to try out because I do want to, like I said, um, next time I want to do like a chocolate buttercream. I want to get to the whipped topping ones um, and just kind of have a series because I get asked a lot of, of time, you know, how to make the buttercream, how to make heavy whooping cream, all that stuff. So I want to have, you know, YouTube as my resource and, and, and you know, be like, it's on my YouTube, you know, go check it out. <laughs> so um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys uh, try it out and you guys like it. Um, to make firm whipping cream, I think hot, you guys, is it hot or is it just me? Um, have, like to make firm, okay, so when I make for my cheesecakes, I make heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract, whatever, whatever flavor I'm adding, okay? And for me, it holds its shape, like if I'm piping like this, it will hold. Um, I have made for Mother's Day, I've sold like cheesecakes and I have to go deliver. And um, it was probably like around 75 that day. I had the AC going. I had to go deliver. I my some of the cheesecakes were in my in my car for an hour and a half, and the cream the the whipped topping that I put on my cheesecakes, um, they didn't melt. They did were not like sliding off. They still hold like it held its shape. So um, I'm not sure how firm we're talking about. I'm not sure if you're talking about. Um, <laughs> good job. It looks pretty. It looks pretty. Good job. <laughs> Um, if you're talking about like for it to hold like under the sun, it's very, very hard uh, to find a whipped cream frosting that will do that. It's all of them. It would have to be refrigerated or for it to be in a really cool place for them not to like just start sliding off. But that also goes for buttercream. Um, buttercream, there's some that will hold better than others, um, but it's butter. So what happens with butter when it's under the sun or when it's, you know, in the heat and all that? It will start melting so that that's what happens to our buttercream so honestly when i first started making like cupcakes and cakes and all of that stuff um i would always when i would see the beautiful pictures of dessert tables outdoors and the cakes outdoors i'm like how do they do that like how do they what kind of frosting are they using that it's not melted and how does it keep in the sun like how do they do it but and when i started doing dessert tables um I would get asked that all the time, like, how does your stuff hold in the sun? And I'm like, you guys, when we take pictures, and now I know because I have done it, you know, it's like, we're taking pictures in that moment. It's like, there, my stuff is not sitting out there for hours. We're taking it outdoors in that moment, you know, like, people are about to eat it right now. So we, we uh, take the picture, and it looks beautiful, but it's not sitting for hours out there. It so, didn't sit there for like You know, when time. customers ask for cakes, cupcakes, you have to let them know, you know, the stuff needs to be refrigerated. And um, if it's super, super hot, it will start melting. And, and um, some people don't know that. So we have to let them know. Um, so yeah, so always try to keep everything cold, everything refrigerated, let them know that, you know, if it's under the sun, it's gonna melt. Whether it's buttercream, cream cheese frosting and it's whipped topping all of that always always suggest to keep it refrigerated because under the sun or if it's hot it will start melting um so i hope that i hope that was um what you were looking for if you're asking for like a firm um the heavy whooping cream with powdered sugar for me it holds very well like very very well i like that it's light i like that it's fluffy i like that it holds its shape like this and uh i like the flavor honestly it's if I, to be completely honest, and right here I'm just rapping, so if you guys are done watching, you guys, um, you don't have to watch this Yeah, because I'm just like chit-chatting. And that causes the boring part of the video. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so, peace like, out. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, oh, I lost track of what was I saying. You were saying that. That so this is the boring. Part. No, before that, I was talking about whip topping. I was talking about ah, uh, you guys, I forgot. Okay, We're getting sidetracked. <laughs> I was like, I'm out. I am done talking. Um, I don't know if somebody wants to remind me what I said, what I was talking about before I got sidetracked. 
Uh, it was something about whipped topping and that it holds. Oh, it's fluffy. Oh, 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 oh I know now. Um, it's fluffy. It tastes good, especially when um, I make like a uh, strawberry flavor. It tastes really, really good, and I can actually eat it. And I, I like it on the top of my cheesecakes because cheesecakes are already sweet. If I put something like this on top, it makes it even sweeter. When I make whipped topping, it's light, fluffy, and I can I can eat it. Like I can eat it. Uh, when I go to the stores, like you know, like supermarkets, Vallarta, the, the whipped topping they have, it's like very simple. It's not. It's super bland to me. So I rather not eat it. But the the whipped toppings that I've been making lately, I like them. Like I like them, and I want to learn how to like frost cakes with them because I, I like the, the how they taste um so um hopefully i can once i start moving on like chocolate maybe and then i do whipped topping we can do like other flavors because i've done the oreo oreo whipped topping i've done the strawberry whipped topping the strawberry whipped topping is so good like so so good <laughs> um so i will get to them i will get to them and um Hopefully that's helpful to you guys and you guys can try them out and see what you like and what don't you like, what you like to work with and what works for you. Because a lot of butterfins don't work for me and I have said this in the previous video, it's like um, when I first started, I thought everything was made from scratch. I thought everyone that made these beautiful cakes was making from scratch frosting and once I started taking classes and uh, just learning more I found out that they're not using from scratch stuff they're using like Sam's buttercream um, the store where you get from your local bakers they have frosting they're using that type of frosting because when you're producing a lot it's just easier to have your bucket of buttercream already made and just frost it and it does it tastes good like it doesn't taste bad to me um, people like it so uh, but I think it is important to learn how to make buttercream, um, to know the basics and learn what works, what doesn't. Because in an emergency, and you don't you run out of the store box stuff, you can make your own. Um, so you gotta find out what works and what you feel better. And if you want to make from scratch, then go from scratch. If you like to make the Sam's buttercream, you want to use that, or use like other ones that are pre-made, like the Wilton one, and that works. Don't feel bad about it. A lot of people are using pre-made stuff, you guys. A lot of them. <laughs> okay, I'll let you guys know because I made this video super long, and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> All right. I'll close up the live. All right, I'll see you guys uh, next Thursday. All I'm right? going to be like those YouTubers. We'll see what we do. Um, if chocolate buttercream or I move on to whip topping because whip topping is getting me excited just talking about it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be one of those people. Wait, wait. What people? <laughs> These people that go. Peace out. I get it. It's over there that oh. that X. Peace out. Oh.